Hello guys, welcome back to Tech Projects. I am back with another unique video on my channel. So in this video, we are going to learn how to share the app content to other media apps. Basically, we share just only a text to other media apps. But in this video, I am going to show you how to share image as well with the with the text. So in this video, I am going to show you how to share image as well as text, both of these. So first of all, let's see a demo what we are going to do in this video. So for this, I have to open my phone. So you can see I open my phone successfully and the application name which I created is here content. So I open this application and you can see by default it contain one image because I am going to show share this image to other media platforms. So now if I click on share button, you can see it opening this dialogue which contain all things Snapchat, WhatsApp, everything where you can share, share this. So let us suppose first I will show you I, I, I click on WhatsApp and after this I simply share this here. And you can see the image is shared successfully with the text also. Now let's come back on our application and now again I click on share. So this time I'm going to share this on Snapchat. So where is Snapchat? So I click on Snapchat and you can see the share is created. You can see the image is present here successfully. So you can see this application is working fine. So in this video we are going to learn this how to share image on our other media apps from our application. So this video is going to be very interesting, very amazing and this video definitely going to help in future, maybe not now, but definitely in future whenever you try to build an amazing app and a big app. So on that application you have to share not only text, you have to also share image. So you should know this, how to do this. So watch the video till then. If you have any question after watching this video, simply comment down below. So don't further delay, now let's start the video and if you don't like the video till now, then please like the video and hit the bell notification and hit the subscribe button. So now let's start the video. So for this what you have to do simply open your render studio and click on file and click on new and then click on new project now i click on empty activity click on next and you can give any name to your application so i simply give here share content tutorial click on save so i want to save our time and also your time so what i can do i can simply copy paste the code which is not a, which is unnecessary code so you can do it by on easily so that's why i recommend you i simply copy paste that code so first of all i have to open my activity main xml file and click on spit so first of all what i need here i need an image view and i need a share button here so for this i open my previous project and i can simply copy paste the code control c control and then i simply paste the code here and you can see this image view is present here so now it's showing it is saying to add an image so i open my previous project and this is the this is the png file i click on copy this and simply paste the png file here that's it now click on ok so you can see the image is showing here so now one more thing let us suppose you doesn't want to share the image from your drawer and you want to share some different image so how you can do this you have to simply take a image view inside your application and if you don't want to show that image view then you have to simply set the visibility of that image view gone but still after setting the visibility gone you can use that image view properly so you have to load your image on your image view then we have to take the bitmap from that image view in this video i'm going to tell you how to take bitmap because if we want to share an image on other media platforms we have to pass the uri so it is not possible we have URI every time because if we are loading the image from an API source then we have URI but if we are taking an image from our drawable and from our local file then we don't have a URI so how we get the URI for getting the URI first of all we have to save that image inside our files then we get the URI and for saving the files image in files we need a bitmap so we have, I will tell you how to take the bitmap from image view. So it doesn't matter from where you are getting an image, you have to simply place that image on your image view, then you have to simply take the bitmap from that image view. So this video is going to be very interesting. So watch the video carefully till then. So this process is done. I simply take you can see I take an image view here and give the ID image and I take a button here with the name of I simply type a share and the ID is the share. Now after this you have to create a resource file. So right click here then you click on new then you click on android resource file select the directory select the resource type here xml and give any file name so i simply give the file name provider paths and click on ok and click on split now here we have to simply copy paste the code because this code is providing the paths where we are going to show store the image 
so for this you can see this is our xml file so i simply control a control c copy this and simply paste this code here this is very easy code you can type it by on so you can see i mentioned the all paths here all possible paths so otherwise it will going to crash our application sometime it will work sometime it will not work but if i type here all possible paths then it will never going to crash so this is the first work which we have to done so you can see hope you write this clearly now close this and also close this now open your manifest in manifest we have to write some code so press enter first here below this and it is better to copy that code also because uh, it can make create some error if i miss by mistake i miss, miss some word so for this i open this and on manifest and you have to simply copy this so you have to copy paste the code as it is with me so paste this here so it does not matter um, you are working on any project you have to type this same code so you don't need to change any kind of thing and you have to change your xml file name according to your own because my xml file name is provider paths so i give here android source provider paths you can see but if your xml file name is different then you have to mention the different file name here this is the only change which you have to make if you make the xml file name is different now that's done now open your main app.java where you have to write the code so first of all what we have we have a button so i simply give the id name button then we have a image view then image view so press enter and image view equal find view id r dot id dot image and then we have a button button equal find view id r dot id dot share i give this id name <clears throat> if someone click on button then i have to open the media apps so button dot set on click listener then new then capital o and press enter so here we have to write the code so before calling this function first of all i need a bitmap for for of our image so for this i have to take a variable here bitmap drawable and give any variable name i give the variable name bitmap drawable again then you have to type type cast this as a bitmap drawable and this is compulsory and after this you have to give the image view name your image view name my image view name is my image view that dot get drawable so it is returning the drawable now i have to take the bitmap from this drawable so bitmap I declare another variable of bitmap type so import this let's import this and after this you have to type here bitmap then we have to use bitmap drawable dot get bitmap so now I successfully get the bitmap inside this bitmap variable so now I have to call the function share image you can give any function name and I simply give the pass here bitmap and now I have to create this function so let come inside this function and here we have to write the code how to open media apps so first of all we have to create an intent because it is opening an intent intent i give the intent name share you can give any name new intent and then you have to type here intent dot action send then after this you have to type here also share dot set type we are passing an image also so that's why we have to mention the type here image jpeg it does not matter which extension you are passing here i simply pass here image jpeg then after this you have to take a uri where we will store our ui so i simply type here uri type variable and i give the variable name vmp uri and after this we have to store the uri inside this variable for and after this first of all let's take a text which i want to share with my app so it is your choice whatever the text you want to share i simply give the variable name string text to share so share tutorial i simply give this text you can give any name and you can pass your app link it is your choice then again we have to store the uri inside our bmp uri variable and here we have to call the function save image we will save the image on our local file then we get the uri and for saving the image what we have to pass we have to pass the bitmap and second thing we have to pass our application context after this what i have to do i have to simply type here share dot put flags share dot set flag sorry and here we have to type here intent dot flag activity new task so it will remove all background task so activity this one flag activity new task then after this what we have share dot put extra and intent dot extra stream and here you have to type you can and here we have to type here our pass our bmp uri this one we have to pass the uri so it will load the uri on that time and after this we have to type here share dot put extra and here we have to type here intent dot extra subject 
and here you can pass any value it is your choice so i simply type in new app it is your choice whatever you want to pass and at last what we have here dot put extra and here we have to type here intent dot extra text and what i have to type here text to share which i which text i want to share with my image and at last i have to start this activity start activity and here we have to simply type here intent dot create chooser then intent name and at last what we have we have a title so i simply give the title share content that's it so this is done now we have to create this function save image which will save the image and it run the uri so first of all simply type here private static and the function name should be first of all it should return uri and then the function name is share image save image sorry not share image save image and what is it is taking it is taking the and bitmap image and a context that's it now you can see this error is gone and this is showing error so first of all import this so now both error is gone and here inside this we have to write the code how we will save the data in our local file and then we get the uri so for this what i have to do here first of all i have to create a folder here file then i simply type here images folder then equal then new file and we have to pass here context and then dot get cache directory we are going to save inside our cache and then images i simply give this name images then what i have to type here uri uri equal null i simply take the variable uri type and by default i have to save inside this null so now we have to write the call code inside our try catch block images folder dot make directory then again take a variable of file type file file equal new file and then after this what i have to type here images folder then give any name so shared images dot jpg you can give any name it is also so must give the extension this is compulsory now we have to take the file output stream file output stream which will help to save the data byte by byte new file output stream and inside this we have to pass our file now after this what we have to do we have to type here image dot compress and then we have to type here bitmap dot compress format this one and after this we have to type here mention the type jpg then we have a quality so i simply set it 90 and then we have to pass our stream then after this we have to flush the stream stream dot flush and then we have a stream dot close then at last what i have to take i have to store the uri so i have I, how will get a uri so i have to use here file provider dot get uri from file so now inside this we have to call a function object require non null so it should be not null then we have to call this so first of all we have to pass our get application context context dot get application context then comma press enter then we have to pass our project name so my project name is com dot project dot and share content so how we will get your project name you open your manifest and you can see your project name is written here so this is your package name you have to copy this and simply paste the package name here that's it so i mentioned my package name here then take a comma and after taking a comma you have to type here dot provider and you don't need to make any change here you have to type as add as it is then after this at last what you have to pass you have to pass the file that's it so it is showing error don't worry what is showing error so this is the error of bracket so i have to add a bracket here and i have to move an extra bracket from here and instead of comma i need a plus here that's why it is showing error so now it is done last we have a catch block so catch and here we have to mention io exception and you can mention anything so i simply type here log.d tag and exception and e dot 
get message so import the log statement and at last what we have to do we have to return the uri so now you can see after adding the log cache statement all error is gone so our application is finally ready and we are ready to check our app whether the app is working or not so for this i have to connect my phone and then i will press on run button so i press on run button and it will start building so it will going to build our application in just 5 to 10 seconds So application built successfully and it will go install the application inside our phone so now application installed successfully so you can see on the top on the action bar i give the application name share content tutorial so you can see this is the application which i create right now so now i click on share button and you can see it open the media dialog so let's open our whatsapp first of all i will check on whatsapp whether it is working or not and i send this here and you can see i give the text here share tutorial so you can see it is working fine now i will share this on snapchat to show you whether it is working or not so for this i click on snapchat you can see it is also working fine here so i discard this and then i again click on share and last time i want to share also on signal so if i click on signal so you can see it is also coming here successfully so I uh, hope guys you like this video if you have any question if you have any query just comment down below I will try to give the answer of every comment I hope guys you like this tutorial because this is very important video in Android development because if you are working on a big application or not only on big if you are working on small application and if you make this kind of share button in your application then it will going to announce your UI experience on another thing in your application so I hope guys you like the video if you have any question just comment down below so thank you see you soon in next amazing video thank you